who kick off they've drawn their last four games and Burnley still in the strange position of having won more cup games this season than they have matches in the second division Burnley in the white shorts and we've got a stoppage straight away because a smoke bomb has been thrown onto the field dealt with rather bravely by Kevin Young who held it back in the direction that it had come from Eves here's Kellogg Eves will have to challenge when Laws was in front of him I think an advantage was played as Brian Laws looks questioningly at the referee. Feeler. The run came from Stephen. Trevor Stephen was linked in the media just before the transfer deadline with Liverpool. But only denied that they received any offer for him. Kellogg playing on the right-hand side of three in midfield for Wolves. Palmer. Richards. Wolves free kick given against Dobson. For the challenge on Richards at the edge of the area. Stevenson has set a four-man wall and Wolves have Kellogg number seven going over the ball and Palmer finding a way around it in the eighth minute via their captain Wolverhampton Wanderers go in front four weren't enough in the wall Palmer curled it round them and Stevenson couldn't get across the line to keep it out. One might question the goalkeeper initially for only setting a four-man wall in such a central position. He did invite the strike at goal, and Palmer accepted the invitation. Touch on from Eves. Stab forward by Dobson. The header was from Humphrey. Dobson again. Taylor and Donovan dispossesses Palmer can he make it count the post thwarts him and an eventful start to this match for Jeff Palmer having given Wolves the lead his mistake then when he was caught in possession here by Donovan nearly produced the equaliser Donovan struck it crisply but it struck the post and came out First half in which Burnley have had more of the ball, but Wolves go off leading by a goal from Jeff Palmer in the eighth minute. Another hailstorm to greet the start of the second half. In fact, Burnley haven't beaten Wolves at home in a league game for almost 20 years. And they do have a difficult task ahead of them here because that hail is being blown towards the goal that Wolves are attacking and they should turn that to their advantage at least in a greater share of the play and it's a mixture of hail and maybe snow now that Donaghy wanted but Scott could collect. 
No way back for Willie Donachie at the moment. John Richards is seeing to that. And John Pender applying the pressure. Willie Donachie played in the League Cup final against Wolves back in 1974 for Manchester City. Richards. Nice turn. And set up Smith. Willie Kellogg finally sees defeat to that injury in the first half. And Kenny Hibbert, who's been suffering himself this week with bruised toes, comes into the action. Dobson. A touch from Donovan. Nicely played by Laws. Here's Scott. Corner conceded by Pender. Dobson. Scott! It was Matthews who got it off the line. Nick Matthews gets the congratulatory pat on the head from John Richards for holding his position on the far post. After first Dobson and then Scott here seem to have found a way past Wolves. And Richards is away here. Clark in the middle. And Eves and Hibbett. Well, Hibbett can't believe it. Eves stood aside. After Burnley were caught square, Richards held his position well to stay onside and looked to pick out the men arriving in the middle. Finally, it was Hibbett who had the shot and credit Stevenson for blocking it. Hibbett's corner. Smith. Humphrey. Hammered forward by Donachie. So difficult to find space in which to manoeuvre. Flynn. Away by Dodd. Wolves have fumbled back in an organised fashion. And Dobson unable to lift the ball out of the mud. And here goes Richards again. Smith is up with him. Richards might do it alone but can't bypass Stevenson. John Richards looking to emulate the goal that he scored on this ground for Derby County in November. In the end, he lost his balance at the crucial moment. Taylor. Stephen. This is Scott. Well, it needed just a touch. Full marks to Derek Scott here, who wasn't settling for the easy ball in. He fought his way towards the byline and caused problems with the cross. And Donovan was inches away, coming in at the centre of the goal. Dobson. The supporters from the Midlands who are crying champions, but this is Donovan. Tangling with Smith. And it ends as a corner. Smith launched himself at the man as well as the ball. And Burridge got away with the fumble from Donovan. Scott apologises for lunging in, but it was a neat flick header here from Donovan. Now Richards. Clark in the middle. Wolves can keep possession here. Clark. Other members of his, of his family have been known to take the ball into the corner and use up a bit of time. And time has gone for Burnley. A game memorable perhaps 
for the conditions that it was played in and won for Wolves by a goal from Jeff Palmer that gives his side another strong step towards the first division. So Wolves back to form in those difficult conditions. They had won just one of their previous six matches. But with Fulham drawing with Chelsea, Wolves will enjoy tonight's improved position. Leicester, 2-1 winners at Barnsley, close up on Fulham now, but they really must keep winning to reach the top three, especially when they play Queen's Park Rangers and Fulham later this month. But Burnley Wolves, we talk about, Jim, and what about those conditions? Great, and it reminds me of the old days that, you know, when that coach swung down off the Pennines through the mist, it wasn't Brigadoon, mate, it was Burnley. And you were a goal down for a start before you got out of the coach. And just look at this, I mean, you wouldn't think the final with all the pretty trimmings was a few weeks away, would you? This is really horrible stuff. You can see that Dobson couldn't lift the ball out of the mud there, and John Richards goes on a run. But, uh, you know, anything that happens on these conditions, really, you, you can excuse. And it wasn't a day for the posers or the pansies, was it? I wouldn't <laughs> like to play in it. Well, unless there was a bubble bath afterwards, of course. <laughs> and I wouldn't you. have minded then. <laughs> Jim, thank you.